between our visitors and our home team. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between our visitors and the Toronto Mounties. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Toronto ball club as they interplay here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for our visitors here, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. This will be taken in at the 1. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to and I think he really said it a few months ago where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy springs for the good stuff. On second down. It's Hayes, and at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first down, Waddle. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. On first down, Hayes. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The wide receivers, often a very, very talented group, and that's the case here. And they don't mind showcasing it either. Those guys love to be flashy, love to make big plays out in the open field. They will attempt to do so in this game. To throw on second down, Waddle. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Harvey. And for the touchdown. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's good to make it seven to nothing. Five plays there on that drive. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, 
and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator said right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Off play action. Harding is going to let this one go deep. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. They're a top five unit right now against the pass in the league. In fact, they sit at number five. And not just speed, not just their physical skills. You know what pulls it all together for the secondary? Their smarts and communication. They play really well as a unit. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Harding going for the deep ball. That's caught at the 25. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. We got four. We got four. And ready. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Ready, ready. 60 out now. Looking to throw on second down. Harding, and his throw is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Harding, he wants it all for the end zone. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. This is taken at his four. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. A look there at the starters on the defensive side of the ball. They were very strong in that victory from a week ago. And what I saw on film was nearly an unstoppable pass rush. They had five sacks last week, plenty of hurries. So now do you just max protect on offense, keep everyone in and run, you know, one or two receiver routes to make sure your quarterback stays up? We'll soon find out. On second down now, it's Hayes. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. That's right, baby. They don't want it. On 
first and ten. Waddle. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Pushing the foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Looking to throw. Waddle, throw left side, complete. That's Hayes. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. On third down, Waddle. And that will be incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the left hash, this from 39. And this one is right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive go, just past the 30-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, Harding. His throw incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. To throw again, Harding. And that gonna be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Harding. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. How about that run? Picks up a first down. Note the enthusiasm in my boys. Remember, last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I think he's trying to get another one in fold. And you talked watching film a lot about his form and just hitting the hole, running north and south, as we like to say. And I, I think he's been doing that a lot recently. Like squaring those shoulders and getting downhill. 53, Mike, 53. I got you, boy. Throwing on first down. Harding. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 
Last week, of course, the great performance, over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back that's run for over 200 yards that says the very next week, hey, let's back things yeah, up. Yeah, I don't need it as much. No, they want <laughs> it more and more. They're going to be ready to go because they think that's going to happen naturally now. 70, Indy. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Cunningham. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's second and eight. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw. Harding. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every round that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first, this from 41. And his kick is indeed good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right, no big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend. Don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Uh, you like Come that on. One? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what Put you your do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. On second down, it's Hayes. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Off the play fake. Waddle. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Defense. Now they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. On second down now, it's Hayes. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Ready? 50, play. 10-6 the score after one right here on EA Sports. Here we go. Stick the oar. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. To throw on third down. Waddle. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, 
ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Second and 10. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Looking to throw. Waddle toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And his kick is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. Ready up. He can't hang. He's not going to get me. He's driven. He's driven. Going to give this time to the tailback. A gain of three, second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a handoff looking right. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. The offense on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Back to throw. Harding. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. We got and this. able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good gain of 12 yards that time. He's fresh off that three-touchdown performance last week that got him AFC Offensive Player of the Week. So you know that he was already on their radar. Now he's maybe even a bigger plane on their radar. <laughs> bigger plane. I mean, he is the big dot on that screen that they're looking at and saying, how in the heck do we stop him? They're going to try a bunch of different things, different people covering him. But right now, he's locked in and is in sync with his quarterback. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Off play action. Harding. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time. And they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. When you're dead last in the NFL in third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Just a yard on the catch there, and it'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. 
And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Set the tone, defense. Set the tone. Play. From the gun, Harding. And that's knocked away and incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. They'll run on first down. Hayes. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Bona, 60 out long. Check, check, block 54, block 54. Check, 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 check. Clear. On first and ten, Waddle, and this one's incomplete. From the 21, it's second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. On third down, Waddle. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Pulled in at the 24. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are our visitors to take over on offense. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday you have to press it a little bit. This might be the case. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Throw left side complete. It's cross. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Now a handoff here to his running back. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Quick hitter here, it's complete. He lost two, and it brings up four. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage.
And they'll send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Off the play fake, Waddle. And he floated one out there incomplete. Ready, ready. And this hey, offense on third down today, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Now a give right side. It's Hayes. And he won't get to the marker as they're going to stop it for a second straight play right at the line of scrimmage. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stopping that one short of a first down. And on now is the punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense, and they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 60 out more. And he'll give it here to his running back. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. From the gun on third down, Harding. A quick throw here, that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. All right, we get slap happy up here sometimes. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Harding, and that'll be 
be knocked away. It's incomplete. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Throwing again. Harding. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, Harding. Throwing right, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Throwing on first down. Harding over the middle complete. That's Burke. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Field goal in the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you, too, in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And as they come towards halftime, it's the Eagles who have the lead in that one. The Eagles seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Finally, we're off to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
So here are visitors to take over on offense. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second and one. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They pick up 11 in addition to moving the chains. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. A couple of first downs on the drive already as he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Cross. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. That sets him up for third down. On third and two, Harding. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And how about this, a fake? But he will not make the first down marker, and that'll be a turnover on downs. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here we go, D. Operating from the gun. 
Waddle firing quickly here, and that's complete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. To throw on third down. Waddle got his man complete over the middle. That's Hayes. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They are down by a single possession here, 16 to 9, as they come up first and 10. Here we go, here we go. 50, plant. Swift, 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 swift. And he'll give it here to his running back. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. To throw on second down. Harding over the middle, and it's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw. Harding. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. That's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. And yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Back to throw. Waddle. And now the rookie's free. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Point after try, forthcoming. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. First down, it's Curtis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. And sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Looking to throw on second down. Waddle, and he will find his man on the outside. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that's going to bring up a third down. On third down, Waddle. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So here are visitors to take over on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. They'll run it now out of the gun, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And again, this time to the tailback. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. On third and two, Harding. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. So they bring out their putter. 
as he'll come on to kick this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. This quarterback now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Come on, set. 18, Gator. Block 54, block 54. Bring it. Bring it. Step. On first down, Waddle. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards and a first down completion. <laughs> Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Tight is Ringo. Tight is on Ringo. Tight is on Ringo. Hey, shoot. Looking to throw. Waddle. Now he's forced out right. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble. And now it's third down. From the gun on third down, Waddle in trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. That's their first time getting to the quarterback sack number one, and, you know, they had five last week, I'm remembering. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback. 
but you show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half. You know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to them here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And his kick is good. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? This one fielded at the five. He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. Personal I'm not sure what this is about. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the gun, Harding. Over the middle, complete. That's Burke. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll get it down here to the 43. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Harding going to throw right side here. Complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. Off play action. Harding. And his throw here is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw. Harding. Oh, no, he lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. man complete over the middle it's miles and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10. a pickup of 24 on the third down conversion it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago and i think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved they can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Throw left side complete. It's Miles. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And his guys are going to retake the lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Extra point up and through, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Six man. To throw on second down. Waddle. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to have a third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now that last completion, certainly not what they were hoping for, is now they'll try to convert on third. Back to throw. Waddle, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Operating from the gun, Harding. And the pressure gets to him again. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. And they bring their punter out there now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 
And it's fielded at the 34. 12 yards on the return that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they made some good adjustments, though. He's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. side of the field now it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive looking to throw Waddle oh he's got a man wide open complete and they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done 15 yards through the air and a first down not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Back to throw. Waddle, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, possession switches hands. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively. So they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to find a little space, he gets this up over the 15 to the 16. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 
second and five at the 34 yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. 60 Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So for our visitors, they move back over 500 at 3-2 and two now on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.